shouldn't have had a constraint on that. I'm going to apply that. Remember that has no over constraint now because there's no equals in, in that expression. So I'm measuring the radius is what I'm doing here. And as I adjust the height, you can see the radius changing. Now I'd like to have that on all the corners, but 12.9350 is not a practical radius for someone to manufacture a part. So what I'm going to do is round tan, tan rad and then use the rounded value to create a fillet radius for the rest of the three circles and an extra one here in the corner as well. So let's do that. If I want to round tan rad, let's call this rounded tan rad is equal to and then we have to round it round it to the nearest millimeter will do fine so let's um, go floor of tan rad plus not point five. and that will round it to the nearest millimetre. And then we need to type in the variable again in order to retrieve the result. Let's make the expression work. So select all of the vari variables. And now my new rounded value here is 13. And we're going to apply this to all of the other circles. So let's do that now. I'm going to need an extra one down here in this corner as well. Add a radius to these. And apply rounded tan rad to each of those dimensions. So let's attach some graphics to that just to see what it looks like. to get the right one here. The larger one or the smaller one? It's the larger one. I better use a better colour here as well. suppose blue isn't a great colour either. I'll continue for now and then change it in a second. Attach some marks. Remember to go anti-clockwise. Select the ellipse and select the constraints anti-clockwise. Select the ellipse which here is the larger one. A little bit tricky but to manage. Let's toggle off constructions so I can tidy this up a bit more. I'm going to change my driving dimensions to construction class. And now change my presentation graphics to something a bit more readable for the purpose of this video. Toggle back on constructions. Uh, toggle them off again, sorry. And put in a associated but not driving dimension onto the radius. And again for <coughs> I'm 
in the dimensions, excuse me. So now we've got a, a nice solution. And I'm going to toggle these guys back onto primary layer as well, or onto primary class. So that they can be edited. Let's say that's 250. And that's 100. Radius hasn't changed yet. Maybe if we give it to that 280, I get a, a 23 radius on the corners. Nice and proportional. So that's rounding. <coughs> 